Okay. So I had heard and seen and some folks in the comments talk about putting a i5-6500T into the 65-watt system. And I was curious to know how that would react. Like, does the fan, do both fans still go on uh, on the 65-watt the, uh, uh, unit if you have something that's got a lower um, uh, wattage rating? So figure, what what the heck, we'll, we'll give it a try, see what it does. Um, maybe see how it affects temperatures. Um, and uh, particularly because sometimes you can find the 65 watt bare bones uh, sometimes cheaper because maybe people aren't looking for them as much. And then maybe if you happen to have a 6500T CPU sitting around, you could stick it in there. So let's see what, what happens. Okay, I first have to prep my um, 35 watt pull out the, um, I need to be able to get down and take out and get inside here to get to the, um, uh, the actual CPU, take out the um, cage. Might be able to, eh, nah, it's probably just easier. Take off everything here put that to the side you've got your they're numbered one, two, three. That's the order in which you're supposed to tighten them down. So we're going to untighten or loosen. I don't know if I've changed the thermal paste on this one since I got it. This was actually the first Elite desk that I ever got was the uh, G2 35 watt. And it has definitely served me well. Move this. Uh... Out of the way. Let's see what, what, what we got. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to worry too much on that. I'll put that uh, heat sink to the side. You'll notice... It's more aluminum looking. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over to the side for now. And uh, let's get out our, this is our 65. Um, it's a little warm because this is the guy that I use for my just normal day-to-day -day work and also for um, cutting the videos. Disconnect that. You notice it does have the um, 65 watt fan. Gentle here, kind of put it to the side because we don't want to uh, disconnect it. Move this guy to the over a little bit, and you'll see that it's got a little different coloring. I, I don't, I, I've been told this isn't colored; that it actually is more of a copper one. So same thing. This one has an. Oh, let's go. Let's go three, two, one. This one has not been um, opened up either. 
I had ordered what I thought was a 35 watt, but they ended up sending me a 65, and that's fine. Again, this is proven to be a, a nice unit. Let's look at this one. Oh, nice, nice thermal paste there. Okay. Let's look at that, the heat sinks. Notice it's got a little area of the copper uh, right here. This is fr um, from the 35 watt. So there's definitely 65 is a little beefier. Okay. So, keep that to the side. I'm going to go over, I don't want to have too many things going at the same time here. Okay, let me, um, let me grab that. Uh, pull out that CPU. All right, we're pulling out the 6500 plane. And if I can grab, this is the 6500T, I'm just going to stick the 6500 back into the other one. This one I got to make sure it's in the slot. Okay. Lock it down. Interesting too, there's also this extra sponge stuff on the side. All right, I'm going to stick this. Sure, it's in the slots. Uh, again, one, two, three. We'll tighten them down in that order. I like to make sure that it's go actually going in. All right. Okay, we'll tighten down. Number two. fan back on. Maneuver this. Okay, well, hopefully the next part of this video will come from when I've actually brought it back up again. Well, I wanted to show what it was like when I brought it up, turned it on. Um, this fan is whirring, and so is this. So that's, that's a good sign. So we'll um, see if it comes up. I'm going to check on my monitor here. 
before I have it hooked up to the VGA. Let's see. I'm just having a little. All right. Well, we're gonna, sh I'm gonna try shutting it down and um, bringing it up. Let's see. I don't think it matters, but um, one thing I realized was that I had not plugged in the 90 watt power supply to the unit. And I don't know, maybe there was some confusion. It had gotten sort of stuck on the, um, uh, the sort of the HP screen. Now it looks like it's trying to bring up uh, Windows. Oh, ran into a problem. Okay. All right, we'll um, we'll try a restart and see. We'll restart for you. Okay. Maybe there was an issue. Oh, okay. Let's start trying. It's going to try to restart. I don't know. Maybe Windows, um, because we changed the processor on it, it's uh, confused. All right, it's going to it's trying to boot again. Okay, try to go into automatic repair and then it said, "Do you want to try a restart?" Okay, so we'll try. Okay, I didn't want it to cause any more issues, uh especially cuz that's my boot drive for my normal system. So instead, I'm going to try to boot to my um uh uh Win to go and see that's what I put stuck in here. I'm going to see if that at least boots up and um, then we can see. Um, obviously, the you'll notice here the fan has stopped. Well, that kind of makes sense since I took out the, the drive that it would be cooling. Um, but everything else, um, the, um, I was going to say the, the, um, when, when to go is a little slow in booting up, but uh, um, I know that this particular one has worked well in the past, so we'll see if that comes up. Okay, the when to go did, did um, it's booting, so we'll see when it comes up. I know that uh, we don't have anything to see right here, but uh, um, we'll see at least if it does, uh, um, you know, can go in and it does recognize the, the new processor. Huh? Those are pretty, pretty cool temperatures, so to speak. Um, and uh, haven't tried anything. Let's see. We could try a stress test and see what the what happens with those. Okay, we just started the stress test, and so far it's looking pretty good. We'll we'll give it a maybe a minute or two and see how they, they come out. I switched over to from CPU Z to uh, this thing called uh, heavy load, which I've used in the past. And normally you'd see it really s jump up there, um, but those um, core temps are really staying, you know, pretty down there. So, you know, maybe uh, uh, particularly if you want to keep a, a cool running unit, it might be something to uh, consider. I'm a little concerned, I guess, if you were to switch over from an existing one like I did, which probably isn't the best idea, but maybe if you're starting out fresh, that would make more sense. And then your Windows install, et cetera, would go right onto the, um, uh, would use the, the, the processor. So what I'm going to probably do at this point is I'm going to put everything back together. Maybe I uh, do some fresh uh, thermal paste on the units and... Um, Hopefully we'll get uh, back in uh, running order. Well, I'm happy to report that uh, both computers are um, up and running. I uh, had a little bit of um, a little bit of scare with uh, this guy, uh, my main uh, computer that I do everything on. Um, first, it said that it couldn't see the chassis fan, but it obviously was there. And then it thought it had to do repair uh, for Windows, but I, um, I think I went into advanced and then said, go ahead and start Windows 11. Thankfully, it did go in. So um, I think it's got merit in terms of, um, you know, putting the, uh, 
the T type processors in there uh, just because you do get that extra cooling from um, those better components in terms of the heat sink. You get that extra fan. Um, I, I'm still not sure whether maybe you still need that 90 watt uh, power supply to make sure that both fans uh, keep you know running at uh, full capacity. Uh, but it's definitely there for the, the processor. So anyway, something to, to think about um, as far as a different kind of configuration.